Airports say they've already seen more than 1 million people pass through security checkpoints over the past few days. They're among the estimated 84 million Americans expected to travel this winter holiday season. News 8's Kelly Hasseldahl has more from travelers at San Diego International Airport today and what you need to know about quarantine guidelines should you decide to travel. Well, according to AAA, most people traveling this holiday season will be traveling by automobile. Even though travel is expected to be down significantly, there are still plenty of people who are choosing to head out of town. Holiday travel has already started. At San Diego International Airport, we ran into travelers heading all over the country. Student Ben Hofflick was on his way to New York. It's kind of scary, uh, just like being in the airport. Uh, but other than that, I think... Um, it should be fine as long as we're safe. Grandmother Marge Langhofer was on her way to Phoenix. No, I'm not afraid at all. As long as we wear our mask and keep our distance, if everybody does that, I'm, you know, I'm good. I feel like people shouldn't even be traveling right now to begin with. Um, I've taken a lot of precautions to make sure that I could do this safely. Chance Dunbar says he got a COVID-19 test this morning. He's flying to Hawaii to see his parents. They're nervous. They're nervous, but um, there's some family matters that we need to do in person. AAA estimates travel this holiday season for Southern Californians will be down 38 percent. Spokesperson Doug Shoup. This is like something we have never seen before. You know, with this uh, concern about the pandemic, it's causing a lot of people to change their plans. A lot of people are doing the wait and see approach to kind of see how things look. Now, if you decide to travel, there are guidelines you must follow. San Francisco and Santa Clara counties now require a 10 day quarantine upon arrival. Travelers entering San Francisco from outside the Bay Area must quarantine for 10 days or risk facing a misdemeanor charge, according to a new order from San Francisco's Department of Public Health. Los Angeles is requiring all incoming travelers to fill out an online form acknowledging that they have read and understood the 14-day quarantine request. Failure to submit the form is punishable by a fine of up to $500. And according to the San Diego County website, all travelers are advised to follow the CDC guidelines, which says you should self-quarantine for 14 days if arriving from another state or country but it urges people to stay local. Kelly Hassadal, News 8.